Hi everyone, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, a doctor lawyer turned homeschool mom of three kids ages 9, 6, and 4. If you are interested in videos about secular homeschooling, raising a child with ADHD, and living a more essentialist lifestyle in general, you have come to the right place, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button right below the video. In today's video, I'll be doing a brief flip through of Evan Moore's Daily Science for Grade 1. Now, if you've been following our channel since the beginning, you know that we've been using Evan Moore since we started homeschooling three years ago, and we really do enjoy them. I like them for several different reasons, one of which is that they are on grade level for the most point. I find that when they say grade one, they're really on par with grade one, um, as opposed to being too complicated or too simple. Two, I really like how each of the lessons is short and sweet and simple and to the point. They are not time consuming at all. If you are worksheet averse, you will find that Evan Moore worksheets really do have a purpose and a point and they don't take forever. So it might be a good foray into it if you're not a workbook type of homeschooler. For example, like in science, we do a lot of hands-on science activities. The kids go to a weekly science class. We do a lot of living literature for science. Like we do lots of books written by people who study plants and who study animals and things like that, I still feel like having a set curricula through a workbook is a really good way to solidify those concepts and to just introduce new ones. They're good launch points for more exploration at the library, etc. So Daily Science is available in four different formats through Evan Moore. One is the printed book, the teacher's edition that I'm showing you right here. Two, you can get this exact book in an ebook format. And three, you can get just the student books alone without any of the instructional guides that are in this version for much less of a price, especially if you have multiple students within the same grade, etc. That's a really good option for you. Um, the teacher's edition books have reproducible pages, so you are free to reproduce them for your kids. And the student books don't have the answer keys that are in here or the lesson plans. However, if you're dealing with a younger grade level, those might not be necessary. Now, as you can see here in the table of contents, the book is organized into six big ideas. So you have these six major units and each big idea takes five weeks. The first four weeks are reviewing concepts about the big idea and the fifth week is a unit review. Each unit also includes a hands-on activity and they have this two page spread here just sort of explaining how this works. At the beginning of every unit, you have a spread for the teacher explaining the unit and giving you a complete overview. So it gives you a little teacher background information and then goes by weeks and tells you what the student will be learning. When the book starts, the first big idea is that living things have basic needs that help them stay alive. They give you on the margin here the vocab that you should concentrate on for each day's lesson. So here for day one, the vocabulary is grow. And it also lists the materials you need, which is a really nice feature in my opinion, because as a mom, I hate having to run around the house at the last minute to grab things. I like to look at what we're doing the day before and just sort of have those things ready. Um, and as you can see here, there's only two days that require materials, day one and day four. Day one, you just need a plant and a ball and day four you just need a stuffed animal on a rock. So those are all things that you probably just have on hand. In the teacher's edition, each week has a brief instructional section that the teacher can use to share with their students and then it has very clear instructions for the teacher. So for example, day one, distribute page nine, hold up a plant or a picture of a plant and say a plant is living so it grows. So it has a little bit of a script for you and then it says hold up a ball or a picture of a ball and say a ball is not living, it does not grow. Then it instructs you to complete the first two activities on page nine. And for activity three, help students brainstorm things that grow and change at home. Make a list on the board, have students choose one word to copy in the box and draw a picture of it. So if you get the teacher's edition, everything is scripted out for you and you can use it or not use it at your discretion. If you're the type of person who really likes having a script, that's incredibly helpful. If you don't want to use it, the book really does stand on its own. So here you can see day one, the weekly question is, can a rock grow? So that question will continue for each of the days as you see for the entire week one. And then you answer different questions. And as you can see right here, the lesson is quite short and simple. So you have, what do you think can grow? Circle your guesses, complete the word, and then what grows and changes at your home? Write the word and draw a picture of it and then they have the vocabulary word and its definition. As it moves on, you can see that the lessons are quite short and simple. I like that the reading section on top of the worksheets is something that my first grader will be able to read on her own. 
And I like that the questions vary in style. So there's some matching, there's some yes or no's, there's some differentiating and fill in the blank. As you can see with week two, the big idea is still big idea one. So you're still on that first big idea. But the question for the week has changed to do monkeys really eat bananas? And it's about food and energy and it goes on. Then you have week three, do plants have mouths? Week four is do fish drink water? And then at week five, you have the unit review. So to give you an idea of what unit review looks like, each page has different concepts. So you have a one page of comprehension, the needs of living things, and it asks you several questions about that. And then it has vocabulary, so it reviews some of the vocabulary from the first four weeks. And visual literacy, so a little bit of labeling of pictures. Here's a plant, and here's different parts of a fish. And then you have a hands-on activity, so watch a plant drink, and this is the classic celery stock experiment with food coloring. And then you color the celery to show what happened. So it has a little piece here all ready to go for like a lab notebook or something if you keep something like that. And then it moves into big idea number two in the same exact way. So big idea number two is plants and animals live in many different places. And it goes on, and I'm just going to do a little flip through. Big idea number three is the sun, moon, and stars are objects in our sky. Big idea number four is different seasons have different weather. So you have a little weather unit. Big idea number five is objects can be solid, liquid, or gas. Big idea number six is an object's motion can be changed by using force. Pushing and pulling are types of forces. I like that the questions that they ask are questions that kids might have already asked themselves. They're very attainable questions, so it relates scientific concepts to their daily life. And then you have an answer key in the back, which has all the answers, including for the diagrams. And that is Daily Science 1, you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this really quick review. As I mentioned before, I'm now an affiliate for Evan Moore, and I am so happy to be an affiliate for them because I really do believe in their products, and I think they're a wonderful addition to your homeschool, or just as extra practice even if you aren't a homeschooled student. So if you're interested in learning more about Evan Moore, I will have my affiliate links down below. As always, you guys, thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate it, and I wish you the very best day.